guys, welcome back, it's Shelby, and today we are making solid perfume. And I'm super excited because I found these adorable little lockets. Look at those, aren't those cute? So you can make solid perfume pretty easy, actually, and keep it in a variety of different containers. Usually, like those little lip balm containers that are like the tins that you pop on and off are pretty usual. You put it in a little plastic container. But I found these, and that's super cute, too, and these will definitely work. What's great about these is that the top is open. I'll open it up in a second. Um, I'll show you what I mean. But um, basically, they're going to act not only as a container for it, but also as a diffuser. So it opens up just like that. And the solid perfume will go there. And then this is open. So it's always just going to smell nice. And when you wear it around your neck, your body temperature is going to warm the metal a little bit, which is going to heat up the uh, solid perfume and kind of disperse it out a little bit. So. These are awesome. I think they're adorable. I really, really like them. And I'm making a new batch of solid perfume today, so I thought I would bring you along for the ride. It's really easy to make. Like I said, you only need really three ingredients, which is um, beeswax. I use this kind. I will link it below along with everything else, along with my socials, if you would like to make your own or check me out on Instagram. Um, a carrier oil. I'm using coconut oil. You can use basically any carrier oil you want. You can use jojoba oil, you can use avocado oil, you can use anything liquid that you want. Basically just soften up the beeswax a little bit, something that's good for your skin. Uh, personal preference on that one. And then essential oils. Now this is where it gets very customizable. So I'm doing three today. I'm using rose, lavender, and orange because I think that would be a nice kind of scent that I want to make. But you can do any combination you want. You don't have to use three. You could use one. You could use 17. You can use as many as you want. Um, or you can use a fragrance oil. Or if you want to like really cheat and you just like love a perfume but you don't want to be applying it all the time, you can use your perfume and just put it in with the beeswax and the carrier oil and then make yourself a little solid perfume pendant so that your perfume lasts throughout the day because you know we do have to reapply that a couple times a day. So if you don't want to, that is a quick little cheat there to get a solid perfume version of the perfume you love. Also great for travel because you know liquids and the TSA don't always get along. So a solid version is great. So yeah, I have two little lockets here and then I've got a little tin off to the side to keep the extras that overflow from this because I'm not used to making such small batches. These are very, very small, like very small. So I'll just keep the extras off to the side and ugly little tin and just use it how I want to use it. But um, today we're focusing on the lockets. Like I said, I will link everything you need down in the description below. Let me know if you like the video by hitting that thumbs up and uh, let's get going. So I have my little candle base set up that I use for all of my little melting videos because I don't have like real equipment or anything, but we're going to be starting with the beeswax. And this comes in tiny little like chunks or nuggets, I guess, if you want to call them. They're just like, let's see if I can get that to stick to my finger. They just look like that. So they're really easy to scoop out. And I'm going to be using half a tablespoon, which just went everywhere. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, most of it just kind of got cut right here so we're gonna there we go half a tablespoon then one teaspoon I'm gonna be more careful this time we did it <laughs> and then I'm going to be using a full tablespoon of my carrier oil I'm gonna use my little half teaspoon measure just twice there we go and my base is way too big for this, but we're just gonna roll with it because I don't really have a smaller one and it's gonna look weird in the pot if I do. So it's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. So we are going to pop this over medium heat in a double boiler. So just fill a pot full of water and put this in there so the water doesn't go in till it's melted. You're gonna have to move pretty quickly. So figure out whatever fragrance you want first, if it's essential oils, uh, if it's perfume, whatever you want, and get it at the ready because once this melts and you pull it off the heat, it's going to start hardening pretty quickly. Um, so once it melts, we're going to turn off the heat and put in the essential oils pretty quickly, stir it up, and start working with it pretty fast. So here we go. Just got my little water pot on. This is what it looks like. It's just kind of soupy. Put it in there and let it melt. 
While that's melting, I've got my setup ready to go. Paper towel to protect the counter from cleanup. My clean little lockets and my mixers and oils ready to go. Now that just needs to melt a little faster. So the beeswax I'm using is white. If you use yellow, it'll be a slightly different color, but I'm using white and a clear carrier oil, so mine is going to be turning clear. Yours might be like a pale yellow, depending on the beeswax and carrier oil that you choose. It looks like it's basically melted, so we're gonna work pretty quickly. So I'm going to turn off the heat and just leave it in the water until I get my essential oils in here so that it doesn't solidify on accident while I'm working. Okay, so for the batch size, I made about 35 drops of fragrance is acceptable. I'm gonna go in and with my rose. We're gonna call that 10, I think. About 10. I mean, it's not an exact science, but for a batch this size, probably about 35 drops would be a good amount. We'll just go in with a touch more rose. I like that. You can experiment and um, just kind of keep the proportions up. If you double the batch or triple it, just kind of double or triple your fragrance as well. So you can see it's basically solidifying as soon as it hits the container. I over poured this one just a little bit, so I'm just gonna lead the liquid out just a touch so it just kind of fills it the edges smoothly. Um, that one's basically done. I mean, definitely let it dry a little bit more, but um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Like you gotta move pretty quickly on these. So um, yeah, this one was a little bit deeper. It's gonna take a second longer to harden, but uh, that's basically it. It does harden pretty quickly, so move fast. We're just gonna leave those to dry and then we will uh, see how they turn out. While those are drying, I just poured the rest of it into a little container that I'm going to keep off to the side so you can see kind of how much it made. I think this is probably the size of a silver dollar and it's about halfway full. So it does make extra. This is definitely a larger batch, but um, the perfumes are also drying pretty well. That one's still a little bit you can see in the middle, it's not quite so dry. That one's basically solid, but we're gonna leave them out for another uh, few moments. Okay, so our perfume is all dry. Here is one of the lockets. I think this is really pretty. You can see the perfume behind the grates and it flipped open all by itself, which is awesome. So it's just the little solid bit of perfume in there. And then you can close it and wear it as a necklace. This one, the way the clasp is, you can either wear it on a giant chain that will allow it to open, or it's kind of an open or closed diffuser. Um, this one is a little bit different. I already strung it on the chain. This one is a straight up locket that you are able to open when it's on the chain. This one I way overfilled, so like don't pay attention to how weird that looks inside. But um, yeah, so it's gonna do the same thing, and it closes and just looks really pretty when it's just, you know, on your necklace. And uh, then it opens up to a lovely solid perfume surprise. And so basically how this works is, um, it's easy, you just rub your finger on it until it melts. It takes like a second to kind of melt it down a little bit. And then you just put it on wherever you want perfume, like super easy to use, but um, it smells amazing. So I used um, lavender, what did I use? Rose and um, orange scent essential oils. I used, um, mostly rose probably like 15 drops then like maybe 10 and 10 but mix it up however you like for the batch i used which was a tablespoon of carrier oil and then half a tablespoon plus one teaspoon of uh, beeswax the 35 drops is good um, otherwise like i said use perfume use whatever you want but um this chain's a little bit long so i'm actually just going to uh i don't know maybe tie it when it goes around my neck because i want this in frame so like here, but it would be down there. So we're just gonna pretend that this is like a reasonably sized chain. I don't even know why I have a chain this long. I was looking through necklace chains that I could put this on and this is the only one that didn't have a pendant on it. And I think I know why, because it's like ridiculously long, so I don't use it, but it's perfect for this video. So 
then you just have a lovely little pendant right there to wear or even a little bit higher and then um, the heat of your skin will heat this up and you will be smelling your lovely solid perfume all day long and uh, yeah so that's basically it hopefully you guys like the video and the craft if you did let me know by hitting that thumbs up let me know what you think down in the comments I love hearing from you guys consider subscribing if you want to see more crafts like this one and I will see you here soon thanks so much for watching and bye for now close-up detail of the perfumes this one turned out really well it filled really well so that's the one that's open that one is a super pretty locket but the inside the perfume just kind of got all janky so I can open it here we go but yeah nice little solid perfume pendants